So today I will show you how you can create this type of camera shake effect in Unreal Engine 5. So basically you have to just create a folder called camera shake. So in your camera shake folder, you have to right click and then you have to go to blueprint class and you have to search for camera shake. And in this one, you can use this camera shake base and you have to create this one. I will just name this thing one. So you have to double click and open this. So you have to select one option. So I'm selecting this one. You can use other options also. But in my case, this one works good for me. You can just do some hit and trial with everything. Right now, you can see we have so many options. So basically what you have to do first, you have to make this duration to zero. Then you can just play around with the settings. But for now, I will just leave this thing like that. Then you have to just go to your level sequencer. You have to just click on your camera component. Sorry, not in camera component, in your cine camera actor. And then you have to just click on camera shake and you have to select your blueprint class. So in my case, it is already selected. This one, new blueprint. You have to make sure that it is properly covering your whole timeline from this green line to red line. So now you can see I'm getting this type of camera shake. This is kind of weird right now because I have to just change some settings also. For example, if I just double click and open this one. Right now it is showing one. I have to add my, this one, new blueprint. And basically you have to just, um, you have to just change your location altitude. And if I make this thing, suppose 10. And if I compile this, and if I go to my sequencer, I will just uh, make this thing smaller like this. Now you can see we are getting more camera motion. And if I make this thing less, then we will get less. And you can specifically change your X, Y, Z direction with this one and your rotation also. If I make this thing 10, then let's see what will happen. So it is increasing the rotation of the camera and that's why it is doing this type of funky stuff make sure that you are not going too much with these numbers or else it will just create this type of weird results so in my case most of the time i use pitch to 10 yard to 5 roll to 8 and fov uh, amplitude to 15 and yeah the settings you can just copy this one and you can then tweak some settings you will not gonna get good results just by copying my settings you have to just do some hit and trial and you will get a perfect thing for your scene but for my case i think this settings works fine and this is creating this type of camera shake effect and if i turn this thing off camera shake you have to just click on this button to mute your layer and without camera shake it is looking something like this there is not that much motion in the stuff and if i enable this you can see the shift of the camera there Okay, so after this, there is a big issue you will find that whenever you try to save your camera shake, for example, if I press Ctrl S to save my scene, you will notice that my camera is shifted. Whenever I try to save my project or the camera shake, it is changing the position of this thing. So basically the issue is the blueprint is kind of a simulation and it is kind of simulating your camera shake within Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine 5 is also a game engine so it will make sense that it will simulate everything. So in order to fix this issue, what you have to do, you have to just bake your keyframes. You have to just click on your cine camera actor and then you have to just go to this action button and then you have to just go to your bake transform option and you have to click on all frames and then you have to press OK. So what will happen that it will bake your frames into keyframes or you can say your camera shake and all your transform. Now you will get this type of triangles. It means your camera shake is baked in. And now if you press S, Control S, it will not change the position. You can see I'm pressing Control S, all, but it is not changing the position. But there is a drawback of this method and that is you can't change anything you can't uh, use this camera thing you can do one thing and that is you can add another blueprint and you can do the stuff on top of this one on top of this bake one and then you can do your other thing suppose uh, i want to change the location of the camera in this position so i will just go to my transform and then i will just add a additive one and basically you have to just add keyframes like this so that it is properly capturing everything so i will just move this thing up like this and then i will save the keyframe so now you can see we are getting that perfect position and perfect keyframe or you can say perfect angle so similarly in this area you can see the hands are not visible that much i want to show the hands also i will just add a keyframe there and then i will just move this thing down like this or i can go back also and then i will save the keyframe so now the hands and everything is properly visible 
and similarly to this area you can just create another keyframe like this and your whole body will be properly visible so it depends on your scene what you want to do with your scene and how you want to animate your camera so i just show you the method how you can use this thing first we have to add a camera shake with blueprints and once everything is done your keyframing and everything and your camera shake also you have to bake that camera shake because if you're not baking that camera shake then your camera position will be shifted when you save so to avoid that thing you have to bake your keyframes so you have to just click on this button and you have to bake your transform and select all transform and ok so after that you can if you want to edit some of your camera motion or anything, you can add a additive transform and then you can do your changes on that one. And it will make your life easier to work like this. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I think this will help you. Thank you for watching.